Los Angeles police worked for months to catch Manson and his followers. These days, the LAPD is on an offensive to prevent crime. Its latest weapon is a computer program that can actually predict where crimes will happen. And Justice Correspondent Bob Orr has a first look at the results. In the Foothill Division, north of downtown Los Angeles, police are patrolling the largely working class neighborhoods with specially marked maps. The small red squares are hot spots, where computers project property crimes are most likely. It's called predictive policing, Alerts to a program which Captain Sean Malinowski says puts officers on the scene before crimes occur. 65% of our crimes are burglary, grand theft auto, and burglary from motor vehicle. And that's what these boxes represent. That's a pretty small box, 500 feet by 500 feet. Yes, it, it, it is a small area. These crime prediction boxes come from the same kind of mathematical calculation used to predict earthquakes and aftershocks. By analyzing the times, dates, and places of recent crimes, computers project hotspots for burglaries, break-ins, and car thefts. LA's police chief Charlie Beck says increasing police patrols inside those boxes denies criminals opportunity. The real measure of this is not how many people you catch, it's how much crime you prevent. I love catching people, that's what I live for. But what I'd rather do is live in a place and work in a place where crime didn't happen. Chief Beck, a 35-year veteran and the father of two LAPD officers, has faced some skepticism in selling the predictive concept. You're a street cop. I am. So somebody comes to you with a computer program and says, here, we're going to predict the future. Yeah. We're going to tell you where crime's going to occur. Aren't some of the guys on the street just going to roll their eyes and say, oh, come on? Well, of course. You know, I mean, that's the nature of human beings. I mean, everybody thinks that they do their profession as well as it can be done already, so they don't need any help. If this old street cop can change the way that he thinks about this stuff, then I know that my kids can do the same. The LAPD began testing the predictive policing model here in the Foothill Division in November, and the early results are encouraging. Burglaries are down 33 percent, and violent crime is also down 21 percent. That success will allow Beck to expand the program to other parts of the city and leverage limited resources. I'm not going to get more money, I'm not going to get more cops, uh, but I have to be better at using what I have, and that's what predictive policing is about. It's also about driving the crime rate lower. Crime here has dropped nine straight years. With these small red boxes, L.A. is aiming for 10. Bob, CBS News, Los Angeles.